This centre is uh, about giving people a real experience of what it's like when there's a really se severe incident and to people, for people to be immersed in that experience and so they really understand what it feels like. Tomorrow morning, I want those superheaters coming off it straight away. And then giving them tools to understand what happened and what they can do differently to make sure that, well, we get everybody home safe. God almighty, yes, once I've located more strops, grease guns, beddings, food, you name it. This is a priority. Don't do anything without the right lifting kit and wait for your lifting supervisor. Stay alert, fellas! They did what they did off their own backs. Yeah. Our challenge is to make it safe for everybody, for every single task, every single day. And if you think about the really difficult conditions, the really challenging things that we need to do, we need to make sure we equip people as best they can so they can look after themselves, the contract partners can look after themselves, and we can make sure that everybody, including our, our communities, are safe. Already with our immersive training we've got 1,700 uh, colleagues through that training with SSE and contract partners and uh, the Fascally Centre in Perth uh, we can get about uh, 7,000 people through a year. So our intention is over the next number of years is absolutely to maximise the number of people that we can get through. Every additional person that we can get through that training is another person that can make sure they, they can get people home safe. Join is pressure. SSC are unusual as an organisation in the degree of commitment that they've shown. I mean, not only are they sending their people through two existing set centres, but they've decided to build their own. Uh, and that kind of tells you enough about that organisation and the kind of culture that is already there and which they want to, you know, embed and, and, and cement. Seeing the incident itself was uh, incredibly impactful. It really does resonate um, when you see things like this happen. You see the event itself, you see the events leading up to it, and then you actually see the fallout of the event as well. You know, what doing safety wrong, um, what the impact of that can be. The legacy that we're creating here in Perth will go on for many years and our ambition obviously is to get our own people through and our contract partners and we expect to take three years to do that but once that's complete there is an opportunity for other industries and organisations to use our centre um, and that will create new ways of learning for safety, health and environment uh, in, across all industries and that's a real legacy for us at SSE.